helps to turn on the sound, right? Hey, how's everyone doing? My name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. And in today's uh, class, we're going to be drawing a jungle scene. Uh, it's one point perspective. Uh, we're going to use a lot of layering with a lot of uh, uh, foliage up front and the stone temple behind. It should be a great session. So my name's Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. I just am glad that everybody is here. Who do we got in the house? We got Helene and Saron and uh, Moina. Moina. Uh, who else do we have? Louise. I'm going to call everyone out if you're here. Sharon, Shirley, Cindy is here. Betsy. And did I miss anyone going up? Lynn. Lynn Portnoy is here. <laughs> Excellent. All right. I think that's going to do it. Um, let's jump right into this and see how much we can bang out here in our hour. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's do this. So I got a new layer. I'm going to get my favorite color here. I'm looking forward to this. This should be um, uh, this should be exciting. So, all right, let's go ahead and start with just. Jump in here with a framework. It's always it's always a great place to start. Framework on your page, and for for everyone. Did I not say Lynn? I thought I said Lynn. <laughs> this is going to be about uh, seven centimeters by eleven, or inches wise, about three by four and a half. So it's always good to. Uh, Draw these a little bit smaller. If you draw it smaller, it's easier to get your perspective right. Plus, we're able to get a lot further along in the 40 minutes or so that we're banging this stuff out. So, anyways, all right. So we've got our uh, got our uh, initial framework. Let's come in here now and uh, let me change my color so you can we'll have some sort of reference here. I'm kind of looking at this. This right here is going to be about my horizon line. So you could see that this is one third by two thirds. You see that this is like the lower third of the page. So very lightly, I mean, really lightly, just kind of come in here with something like this. And then right in the center, just put a little dot because that's going to be our vanishing point for this one point perspective. If you have any questions, by all means, just uh, oh, oh, just put them in the in the chat here. But I do need if every whoever's watching, please give the uh, video a big thumbs up, and uh, let me know. And in the chat, not not in our in uh, in the comments at the end of the video. Let me know if you would like to do an urban drawing or a some type of a vehicle, okay, for next week. So just leave that into the chat and we may incorporate one of those. All right, let's do this here. I'm going to go ahead and, and draw this opening, but now pay attention. Now look look where I've put that dot. I've, I've put that dot a little bit toward the higher end of the doorway there. And then in this doorway, I'm going to draw another another square. And I'm look at this. I'm doing it a little bit off center. You see that? And I, what I want you to do here then is go ahead in here and, and immediately add a dark tone. It doesn't have to be super dark yet. We might come back and make some adjustments, but for right now. Add a dark tone and look what I'm doing. I'm purposely making the left side a little bit more. I'm making it a little bit more than the right side. And another little detail I've done is I've kind of angled the bottom. You see that? This is going to create a very interesting. Uh, 
uh, a shadow, so it's not perfectly square. And you can go back in actually right now and just along the top and sides, go in as dark as you can. Go in as dark as you can. But the bottom leave a little bit of light. Then That way we get some uh, splash light happening down there. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to keep building. We're going to keep adding to the structure. So the next line I'm going to, I'm going to draw this right here. You see that? So let's put that in. What's great about drawing a temple like this is, man, there's a lot of, lot of leeway that you can get away from, that you can, uh, that you can incorporate into your drawing. We're really not restricted by proportions per se. Just keep it light. All right, next thing, let's go ahead and draw this, look at this dark opening here. So I'm gonna get a side and I'm just, look at a little crack maybe here. This is going to be an interesting silhouette. And now I'm going to do it lightly. I'm not going to do it as dark, and I'll explain why in just a second. Fill that in. Now, if you look closely, I'm going to, I'm going to zoom into the picture here. Look at this here. Look, see, when you look at this opening, the top part uh, has a little bit of light where the bottom, and, and this is because we're looking up at it. We're below, so we're, we're kind of looking above it. So what I want you to do now is to come back into this shape. Now, watch what I do here. I want you to hit the bottom, bottom with a dark value. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's 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 come back to the bottom there. And I'm gonna just kind of add now, I'm gonna add like a little pillar and keep this, still keep it light because we're going to um, eventually have some leaves that are gonna be in the foreground. And so I wanna make sure that uh, we don't fill this in too dark uh, with too much value until we get all those leaves established. Oh, let's see. Sharon said, why am I sweating? <laughs> because because I'm, I'm committed myself to doing multiple draw <laughs> because of all of the live draws we'll start. We're going to start testing out and trying. So it's no, I'm just it was more of a joke. I'm not sweating. I'm I'm looking I'm looking forward to it. I'm very, very excited with what is happening. <laughs> so, look, I, I put two more square. Uh, square uh, stones on top there. Now, now I'm kind of using the reverse. See what I'm doing here? I'm, I'm, I'm using that shape now. Look, I've just created a stone there. And I'm gonna put another one here. Okay. 
Oh, let's see. Uh, Monia, I what what a pencil. I'm using a 6H. So let me show you. It's right there. The 6B pencil. Okay, the 6B pencil. And um, the only difference what I do is under stabilization, I kind of will. If if you have the anything more than it be any more thing more than eight percent here, uh, it kind of uh, gets you lose that sketchy kind of quality. So you'll just have to adjust with that. All right. Hey, it's Alex is in the house. Hello, Alex. Okay, let's continue on here. All right, let's come in here lightly and, and grab me two more, uh, two more stone pillars. Now we're, this is where we're at now. We've, we've kind of all, we've drawn this section already. Sure. And uh, Moina, if you need more information than what I showed you, just reach out to me and I'll send you all of the uh, the settings. But the 6H is, is, it comes, I think it comes standard with Procreate. All right, we're gonna, oh, what happened here? Oh, that's exciting. All right, come on back up there. There we go. That was weird. I think I hit the little button there. Okay. Nonetheless, that's okay. All right, so let's come across here with a straight line as we kind of start to get some idea of our temple. And I'm going to come up here now and just kind of write up a guide. You see this? So these final stones I'm gonna want them to fit this this feel here as I move up so uh, oh no Elaine tremors are bad oh I'm sorry about that hang in there right all right let's come over here and I'm just gonna add like a little cross stone and then we'll make another little uh stone here yeah like a jigsaw that's yeah this is i think this is why i like you know a, a temple is fun because you sure can uh, get away with with a lot of freedom and uh a lot of creativity All right, so let's, this is where you should be at here. So we'll, I'll give you a second. Give you a second here to uh, get caught up if you've fallen behind a bit. Okay, so come over here now. This is gonna be kind of our wall, the top of our, our main wall behind this temple. Oh, look at this. I just noticed there's a human being in this picture. I don't know if you could see it, but check this out. Right there. Ooh, look at that. There he is. There's the human being. <laughs> I just noticed that from the distance. Okay, let's keep going here. So let's come over here to the left side. All right, so what do we have? We kind of have our, our top of the temple drawn. We're gonna come over here now, and I just want to get this, look at that interesting shape on the far side here. So let's just come over here like this. Yep. And then this side. All we're, all we're doing is just trying to get shapes right now. We'll come back in with value once we got our pieces in place. All 
All right, let's get these stones now. The, now what's gonna really sell this uh, one point perspective is to get these stones just right. So over here, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start over here. Put a, just come in here with a line like this, just like that. And you can even come in just like something like that. Now, don't start at this, come over here just a little bit. You see that? And then give yourself kind of, look at that, a very light guideline. You see? I'm going to make the bottom of the stone go toward that vanishing point. And then come up here to this, this little corner and give me a line also going to that vanishing point. Just kind of like that. We're gonna come down here with a line like that. Coming across and then, of course, the top of this is also heading toward that vanishing point. Let's jump to the other side now and get this, this kind of general rock face in. You see that? So let's come over here to this side and we'll start, start with a vertical like this. And then same technique, we're gonna kind of line that up there and line that up there. Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to erase these lines. These are just for a little bit, some guides. We'll just kind of remove those all together because we know that those two stones are lining up. Okay, let's let's draw another stone here now. Let's kind of we'll put this one at a different angle. Look at that. See that angle? This this will make it really interesting. So these won't all be parallel. And this one also will kind of line up a little bit differently. Not much, just, just enough to kind of make it look really um, very natural, like stones have fallen out of place. Okay, I'm going to put a stone right here. And then I'm going to line up another one here. So this, this one's going to be like this. Oh, wait, go ahead. Take your time. You got this. Keep outlining everything because we're going to, uh, like I said, add foliage in the foreground and we don't want to, um, we don't ha want to have all these lines. Okay. All right. I'm going to come across here just like this and straight down there. Look at that. See, this is all perspective and it's kind of fun because it's, you don't have to, it's just blocks. And like I said, it's one point perspective. OK, 
Okay, let's jump to the other side here. Look at that. I'm just grabbing an odd shape. Odd shape of a stone. And then it kind of looks like, I'm not sure if it is or not, but I'm going to make like a, a circular pillar right there. Look at that. I'm just kind of doing this kind of stair shape on the wall in the background over there. Maybe another door that's made out of stone in the background here. How's everyone doing out there? Still with me? Okay, let's get a little step here. So all I'm gonna do is do a line across and another line right below it. And then we'll do another line across and a line right below that. And right here you could it's an interesting little crack that's going you see that and then go straight up and down so the top of that stone that crack is kind of going back toward that vanishing point and then when it hits that edge I go straight up and down this this is almost like that surface line you see And I'm going to go ahead and add just a slight value on those two steps right there. Okay, let's, let's switch our picture now because what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in some jungle fauna. I think it's called fauna of, of plants and things that we can add some foreground to our picture here. Once we get the foreground drawn in, then we'll add a value and then we'll add details. So just, just remember the process that I like to go through in my drawings. I like to usually go with a gesture we kind of skip gesture today. Then I will go into construction. Then I go to value. And then I go to detail. All right. So let's get rid of this. Okay, look at that. That looks pretty awesome. Okay, so let's let's draw some of these leaves here. So down here, I'm gonna just kind of come in here. Look at that. There's one, there's one big leaf overlapping. Maybe there's another one. And these leaves, I'm I'm just kind of doing this sort of thing. Okay. Look at that big one right there. You see that? Okay. 
look at these great vines. You see these great vines right here? Let's let's kind of put one. Look at that. You see, I'm kind of going straight, and then a little bit of a a curly cue there, and then maybe this one's coming down like this. All right, I, I just did these like little squiggles like this. Plants coming in here. Okay, let's go ahead and, and add some value now in our background. So if you think I'm just going to add some gigantic, long, like, triangles, you see, and verticals, spacing out a little bit of white in between. Keeping it light. thing is I'm going to come in here where I drew le where I drew these leaves I'm also going to add not a dark tone yet just a lighter value Come back to that. Okay, let's add. Let's start to add some value to our temple here, and you can see I'm just coming in with an even tone on the left side, and an even tone on the right side, just a bit. Now our light source is coming from this direction. So these, the face of these stones are have a, a shadowed value. You're going to get some type of shadow underneath these stones as I climb higher and higher. We're just slowly, slowly building this thing up. Darker values are going to come forward. Look, I'm, I'm breaking this main rock down. Look at that. I'm just kind of adding some texture, some value. Now I don't, I'm gonna try and like make sure that there's value everywhere in the picture, except 
that doorway that you see right through the tunnel to the other side. All right, I'm going to add some surface lines down here. All right, now we're going to come in here and start adding some more details. So let's let's start referring to our picture and, and there's like some interesting shapes over here. You see this? So look at the reference and then You're going to start adding detail, value, and detail. Here's one of these leaves here. Now, this leaf, I'm going to come in much darker here, like this. And then I'm going to have that vein in the middle of the leaf. I'm going to do the same for these guys over here. Yes, that's exactly where this is. I believe this is from uh, Cambodia. Now this leaf, look, I just added a little bit of a shadow, a solid cast shadow on the uh, leaf below that. You see that by thickening the line. So now what we'll now what we'll do is just slowly start to add additional texture, adjust our values. And you definitely want to uh, look at the whole, see how the what the whole picture is looking like. Come on, come on, come on. All right. 
I'm waiting for my uh, pencil to get caught up here. All right, let's see if it, there it goes. Okay, we're caught back up again. Hi, Karamba. Well, this is always exciting when this happens. shut that down for a second let's see if this helps Just, just when it started getting good, right? You got all that great foundational stuff in, and then uh... <laughs> come on, there it goes. All right, let's see here. What is going on with my pencil? Oh, all right, hold on here. Let's see. Let's see now. Um, uh, okay. I just lost all my work I did. What happened here? Uh, I got to think. Um, Well, look at that. This is always the fun part of going live, right? All right, well, let's see now. Let's just see if this catches up here. All right, keep going here. Let's see if I can uh, pull out of this nose dive. I wonder if I can. Uh, Nope. All right. Let me try and get caught up here. And that kind of gives you a little bit more time to... Uh... All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to redo the bottom. So we'll keep going. We'll pretend like my bottom is... is uh up to date. So let's come over here to the left hand side. Look at that. Look at that recovery. That's it. Angkor Wat. All right, let's come over here then and 
let's draw like a little opening in this wall over here. That will be interesting. I have no idea how much I just lost, but I, I think I lost a lot, but that's okay. All right, so here we go. So all I'm doing right now is just kind of coming back in and I'm starting to outline. I'm just playing with shapes. Let's bring open that uh, jungle scene here just for a second. So this, this vine here is going to be in the foreground. Look at that. And then this vinyl also over here will be in the foreground. And I'm going to want to make sure that this uh, temple pops uh, from the background. So look what I'm doing. I'm just adding some tone in the back and some maybe... Maybe this is like bamboo back here, right? I'm just adding texture and value. Trying to keep it on the lighter side. I don't want to go too dark unless unless these some of these vines are in the foreground, you see. Okay, let's bring up the temple again. Yeah, so what I'm doing now is I'm just thickening some lines. I'm thinking of, you know, maybe this stone is more in the back background or it's deeper inside, right? Trying to get variety of shape and value. Here's that stair step. Here's some detail of different size bricks in the distance, stones.
How is messing with differences in shapes and sizes? Create variation, variety. Okay, let's jump. Let's come now into our picture here, into the opening in the distance. I'm going to erase. I'm going to erase that little dot there. And I'm going to come in here just to a light value, something like this. And I'm just going to add just some stonework maybe back here. And I added just a little bit of value on top of that. And I think that's going to do it. Now, I, because I lost some of the little detail I did at the bottom of that picture, I'm going to go back and uh, rework that. But but let's let's look at one more thing now this is happening in my picture i don't know what's happening with yours but i really i kind of want that i want that uh temple to stand out more than the background so what i'm going to do is just come in here and add a light tone or light value to the entire background you see this This way, the majority of the, uh, maybe even like add some more trees in the background. This will, this will make the, um, the bright temple to kind of stand out from the background. It won't compete as much. It's, it's what is called that idea of like organization of values. I think it's going to do today. I really appreciate everybody for tuning in. Please don't forget to like the video. And once I, um, once we finish this, jump into the uh, comment section and let me know if you're interested in drawing next Monday some type of urban setting or maybe like an abandoned vehicle or something like that. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. My name's Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. We will see you guys later. All right, bye-bye.